Hello. In this video, I will show you how to use the Wasila driver application for professional drivers. First, open the Wasila driver application. Now, once you open the Wasila driver application, your screen should look like this. Here on the top bar, you can see that your status is not available. This means that you cannot receive any requests from customers, so if you want to become available, you need to go to the top right corner as shown in the video here and press this button. If you are not ready for requests, you can turn the status back to unavailable at any time and you will not receive any requests. Now once your status is set to available, you are now ready for requests. Now you can wait for a customer to create a request and if the customer is nearby, you will receive the request. Now if you get a request, your screen should look like this. On the top, you can see the request details, like for example, the passenger name, which in this video is not shown, and you can see the pickup location. And down here, you can see the other information, like distance from car or approximate time for you to reach this customer from your location. Now you can choose to accept this request or press no thanks if you are not ready for this request. For example, if the customer is too far away, you can press on no thanks and the request will go to another driver. Now if you choose to accept this request, your screen should then look like this. You now have accepted the request. On the top here, you can see above the phone number, which in this video is not displayed, and you can see these three buttons. One is message, if you want to message your customer, or phone, if you want to call your customer, or navigation. Now if you want to navigate to the customer's location, you can press on navigation and it will open up this menu. Here you can select the type of map that you want to navigate to the customer. Down here you can see notes written by the customer, for example, if the customer has any special needs. And you can see arrived and pick up. If you have arrived at the customer's location, you can now press on Arrived and it will show the customer that the driver is waiting outside. Now after pressing Arrived, you can wait 5 minutes or 3 minutes. However, if you decide that you cannot continue with this request for some reason, or if the customer did not arrive after 5 minutes, you can go to this top right corner and press this button. Here you have two options, Cancel or No Show. If the customer did not show up after 5 minutes, you can press on No Show and it will end the request. If you have picked up the customer, press on Pick Up and it will show this box. Now you can press on No or you can press on Yes to confirm that you have picked up the customer. If the customer did set a destination before creating the request, you can go here to Navigation and you can navigate to the destination. Now if you have reached the customer's destination, you can press Drop Off. Then this confirmation box will show up and here you press yes if you have indeed reached the customer's destination. After you have confirmed the drop off, you can see the total fare which is also shown in the customer's application. Then after receiving the money, press pay with cash and confirm the transaction. And now your trip is completed.